Hey there guys, how you doing? This is Joe here and today I'm taking a look at a proof of concept demo for a game called Caffeine. Now, I don't know too much about this game, or I never do when I jump into these uh, small little indie titles. I know it's a first person game made in Unreal Engine and it's kind of like a horror game I believe and uh, it's got this really cool sci-fi space station setting and uh, I believe I'm playing as a little child from what I've read and it's all about exploration and uh, kind of creating that feeling of isolation and wondering why we have woken up on this place and uh, of course you might be a little bit curious about the name I am too um, as far as I know it's uh, this game kind of deals with themes of addiction and uh, things of that nature um, at least that's from what I've read on the brief page that I stumbled upon Stum I stumbled across when I downloaded this uh, this demo. So uh, without further ado, let's stop chatting random bullshit and uh, let's play this game, shall we? Okay, so this is the first room I've kind of opened up into here, and there also I've got these little notes on there. Something is not right. Coffee is the key. The kitchen has the coffee. All right. <laughs> well, there we go. Straight into the caffeine-related uh, gameplay, I guess. Hmm, definitely atmospheric music going on. Can I climb this? Well, that's a loud jump. But yeah, this is a pretty airy setting from what I from what I've experienced so far. So let's see how we get on here. Level four, let's walk through this door. Hmm. Well it's really dark down there. Not entirely sure what I'm walking into. Okay, let's just keep walking into the darkness. Oh god, it's so dark. Oh god, seriously. What? Okay, the light's flashing and the door's opening. At least I know where I'm going. Oh shit. I must have just fell down that step. Didn't feel like I walked down it. But yeah, I am stressing again, guys. This is a proof of concept demo. This is uh, pretty much just a showcase uh, the feeling of the game, and I imagine what we can expect from the final game, which is currently on Indiegogo to be funded. Um, so if you like what you see, the link is going to be in the description. You can click that and go and donate towards the game reaching its goal. Level four, okay. Yeah, the lighting is really nice in this game. You've got to—you can't deny that. Okay. Definitely seeing a bit of a uh, what the fuck. Okay. Uh, whatever I'm seeing, it wasn't that. Oh man, that was pretty creepy. All right, let's just keep pushing down. But as I was saying, I'm. Um, Getting a little bit of a performance drop here with this demo. Um, oh shit. I did adjust my settings on the way into the game. Um, but there's probably something I could have taken that would make it. I'm seeing a bit of screen tearing. I probably should have turned on the anti aliasing or something like that. But I am running in the higher settings at 1080p. As always for this channel. And uh, this light just went out and now I'm completely walking on this shiny ass floor, this is crazy shiny. Well this is the kitchen so uh, let's just have a look what we can find, where's this coffee at? And you're probably wondering, man that's a big table but I am playing as a small child you have to remember so if uh, things are looking a little bit big in proportion that's probably why. I'm just going to walk around the edge here and uh, head over to the fridge. So I've got some notes. Okay, fridge safe procedure. Grab the fridge door, pull, stop pulling, locate food, grab food, close door, eat food. Okay. Hey! I believe that is the guy who made the game. Uh, forgive me if I'm wrong. Uh, nice little cameo there on the uh, fridge door. Do not eat the captain's food. Dry on dishes. No flammable substances in the fridge. 
No more than two slices of bread per person. Do not have more than two cups of coffee. Okay, well. I can't click anything here. This is pretty much just a walking simulator. So far. Although I believe there are going to be puzzles involved. Um, from what I've read uh, briefly. Hey, there we go. We can open it. So yeah, we can click things. That's good to know. There, now we have another crazy room with uh, really atmospheric lighting going on. It's worth noting that I'm playing this in a complete darkness of my room. And it's really late. So that definitely adds to it. How's the music stopped or is it just me? I think the music has stopped. What am I looking for here? Okay, this is getting really creepy now, there's no music. Um, I can definitely hear the atmospheric sound. Oh, I can jump, so maybe I've got to do, do some kind of jumping? Because I don't think there's anything in here, I can't see anything. I've not got a light. Oh, wait. What the hell? What did I just do? I got stuck. Um, yeah, it's really dark in this room. Really dark, in fact. Okay, I can't sprint with the shift key. I did come from that way. I came from that way, right? Yeah, so let me go through this door. Oh god, things are creaking. What is that? It's just stopped. That was very Jurassic Park like. I think this door leads around. I can't even like walk past there earlier. Alright. Man, it's so dark in these corridors. I'm gonna head down into this. Looks like there's some water down here causing these water effects. Oh! Shit! Oh my fucking god! Holy shit, I fucking scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh fucking hell. That random shadow. Ugh, touche, caffeine. Oh, I should not be playing this so late at night. Yeah, that was gen genuinely creepy. Oh man, I do not like this. Alright, let's just keep walking. Oh, nice light. Can I... Oh, no sound relation there, that's confusing. Did I just open something? It's uh, pulled down now, so I assume it is. Oh nice, that door's opening at least. Is that blood? That looks very blood-like. And the sparkles coming out of that. Oh. Oh, I don't wanna... Oh, can I go through here? No. Let's go through this door. What is in here? Anything? More notes. Let's see if we can figure out why the fuck we're here. Cause I ain't got a clue. What is it? John, if you wake up, go to level smudge, I'll be waiting. He sees you, and look, it's a scribbled silhouette, similar to the one I just saw in the hallway, nice. Coffee. Caffeine. Coffee, coffee. Me. <laughs> look at that guy. He sees me. Hmm. Remember to test samples five after seven. John is not responding. Hi Ryan, I've noticed something strange in some of the recent samples from Tank 2B, down on level seven. From what I can see so far, it looks as if there is some kind of irregularity that's causing some strange behaviour under a microscope. I can't be sure until the screening results come back, but I'm a little uneasy about this. About all of this, says Sarah on level four. Well, Sarah, 
I'm being a little uneasy too. Can't click anything still. Um, man, whatever, let's just keep going. I guess. Um, that door looks like there's a can see through the crack barely, but I can't get through it. A sprint into the water. Oh wow, that's a crazy leap forward. Can I leap forward over this? <gasps> no. Why can't I walk through that? That is odd. That is very odd, in fact. I feel like I should be able to get through here. Oh, there we go. Guess my foot was getting caught on something or some kind of minor hiccup there, some glitch. Um, What can I find in this room? <laughs> Those water sounds are sounding pretty neat. Oh, shh, that's a big drop. Wow. I'm going to assume that's the way I need to go until further notice. Um, can't see anywhere else in this room I need to. Oh man, really enjoying the atmospheric soundtrack. Give me any kind of atmospheric sci-fi related music and I'm happy. Can I go down here Dan? It looks very far down. Oh, what the f... Okay, I'm on some kind of... thing. Is this gonna kill me if I fall down? That looks very steep to me. Screw it. Ah! Oh. Alright. I think. Ish. What the hell? It's very creepy down here though, I don't like that. Why am I always the one playing these bloody horror games? What the fuck, that was just me. Ah oh, dear. It takes a lot to scare me actually. Definitely got a kind of eerie atmosphere, but uh, not very horror-esque just yet. It's kind of more thriller kind of psychological, you know, I mean, there was a silhouetted glitch man earlier. The fuck was that? Left or right, guys. Okay, sounds like I can have footsteps running. I'm not actually sure which direction it's coming from, but I'm going to head right, because it looks scarier. Can you open? I literally just walked down the hall for no reason. Uh, I don't think there's anything down this side. Yeah, this is actually... <laughs> this is actually a kind of unsettling atmosphere. Oh! You know the worst part is, guys, about playing this game, caffeine? Is that if you know anything about me, I fucking hate coffee. I do! Not a fan. Don't mind it in soft drinks so much. I'll, I'll take Coke any day. The drink, guys, not the drug. Come on. Can I get through here? No. Hmm. So yeah, the fact I'm playing a game called Caffeine goes against any, everything I, I'm against, really. Okay, this box room looks creepy. Is it an elevator? Is it the end of the line? I don't know. Let's walk in and find out. Is the door going to close? Oh, shit! Um... 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 Okay, the room is filling up with water. Okay. No, no. No, no, no! And there it is! The end of the small little proof of concept demo for caffeine. Thank you for playing. Ah, wow. There we are, guys. Indiegogo campaign, st campaign started at the end of March. I literally just discovered it over the uh, last few days and uh, thought I'd check out his demo. And Yeah, there it is. I've got to say, I was actually pretty impressed. Uh, really good lighting. A uh, little bit of performance issue at 1080. Um, 
but nothing really noticeable, you know. And uh, I think the most like the biggest thing to kind of get across from this demo is just kind of the atmosphere, uh, kind of the unsettling feeling you can expect from the final game. And uh, you know, definitely delivered in the lighting department and uh, kind of putting you in that space station without really knowing what's going on. Um, definitely, it seems like there's a story there to discover. It seems like they're on the way to a good narrative. It'll be interesting to see this get funded and see what more can kind of happen with this game in the future. But yeah, there's my experience. Uh, very scary on playing in the middle of the night. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Actually, I would because that's kind of what they're going for. So yeah, turn down my lights. Maybe download the demo yourself and check it out. But there it is guys, Caffeine, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.